Hello, everyone. No, folks. It's not a Let's Play. It's just some gameplay this game, and I just lost something new, so... Let's go check it out, shall we? And we get the Wall Wiggler. I was looking for something else. I'm gonna try to start getting a lot of coins so I can get all these, um, customization parts. So that you know, alright? I mean, there's like this, like, one part I want so bad, I just saw it and I just want it. So. Or even for gameplay, anyway. Hmm. Let's do some races, shall we? Let's use my main. Baby Luigi. Of course, Baby Luigi. Let's do 150cc with normal computer players. That should be fine. Alright, let's see. Let's start off in the, um... Let's start off with the course... I'm just freaked that... Probably my favorites now. Toad's Turnpike Marker Excel. So yeah, what, what this game did is that they had like all the courses in this game and even like changed the music. <clears throat> what things like about this game the most? The horn! I like using the horn! You only, have, you only use it when you have no items. Wait. Wow, for a minute I thought I was using a, a, a cart, but no, some people using bikes. Anyway, Mario Kart 8. This game is awesome. Okay, we can't have those in the way. Yeah. Those are cars going both directions in this game. And... Now, that's supposed to happen is literally this course is more revamped. Even my face CC, so... Yeah. Also, of course, the game has these new pads. Now, the thing is, I'm trying to play hitting cars. You know, it's like one time I was like so lucky, I was so close to a car that I slowed down and I just bumped it, but I hit by it. And there's even this. Well, what the heck? Wow. That is some gradational pool. Also, yes, on the right side there is actually a map. If you just press the, um, um, the minus button, you can actually see the map right there on the screen. You will see it on the Wii U gamepad, which I'm using right now. In fact, you can also see in the map, Puzzle Bluefills, Starman, and, of course, the Dangerous Blue Shell. Yes, even the Blue Shell. You even detect the Blue Shell on the map. So there I see Toad is in Starman down there. Now, this is 100cc, 50cc, so it's not as hard. I mean, it's not as hard as it's supposed to be, but this is just a start, alright? Okay, I should have just gone down. Because, yeah. I was trying to go down. Also, notice I have a banana, yes, yeah, still an item screen. Get this. That's one of the annoying parts. That's one of the parts that, may have, that they have changed. Not really annoying, but just have some good parts. This game, you fall off the track, you do not use your items. I mean, even if you're shooting, you still have it. And also, the race is over. Once you have a certain item, you just form! Now, also notice I have, like, almost all the characters. I still have to lock E and Lemmy. We just have Mel Mario and Pink Gold Peach. That's one thing. And yes, I still have to unlock Link for DLC. I won't be able to get that until, um... Christmas, because I need to get the money to pay for it, so, yeah. Next time we do Yoshi Valley. Yoshi Valley is another course that they just revamped. So, yeah, we're probably need a lot of Mario Kart 64 courses for this gameplay for this edition. I mean, really, there's nothing much we do on Mondays and Fridays anymore. I mean, we got need to get a new project for this, this, this stuff. But, nope. Yoshi Valley. I was like, use the horn! Of the horn! My god, my favorite horn has to be Wario's because it sounds the most like something he would probably do. Anyway, Yoshi Valley! 
unlike the original version, it'll attack where you are, and there's multiple paths. And the path I chose is probably my first favorite. It's just your Bowser and Morton following me, what I just did? Well, they are normal computers. I mean, it's not like they're, like, hard. Yeah, I like to do it start slow, then go to higher levels. Unlike some friend of mine who goes straight to the hard levels immediately. I mean... That's how you get stronger. You can progressively, like, do stuff in... Yes! Those are two bullet bills. Yeah, this game has multiple bullet bills at once. Jeez, I don't know why, but that's just... I'm taking the route that's... I like taking this route because this is probably the fastest route in my opinion. Even though my challenge route did a different route, I still like this route. Now, yeah. Basically the goal of this course is to take the best route to get to the finish line. Also, about characters. To lock characters, you have to beat Grand Free for the first time. Which means you have to do like... You have to do, win 14 Grand Prix to lock all the characters. Yes, 14 of them. Whether it be a 50cc, 150cc, or new courses, or level. There's only like 12 Grand Prix in the game, so of course you need to do like a different level in order to get all the characters. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. That's why I start with just to kick a start, then move up from there. Which is a good idea, in my opinion. There is also a barrel cannon you can use, but I don't use it because even though it has an alternate path, I like to go the fast route because that's the goal of this course, right? To find the best route to get to the finish line. And what a good way to finish off the this, sleep, this game's sleep cut, I believe. Oh, some more hornage! Also, there's no they don't care about where your position is, they just tell you where you are, right? And finally, let's do one more course. Who should our final course be? Is it going to be Royal Raceway? I mean, it's right here. But I noticed something. Is it just me? Or does every single one of these, cor these cups have, like, except for these? Towards these, they have like at least one tells you four course from all of them. Okay, I found the only Game Boy Advance course, one of your circuits. Yeah, it's only one. Let's see, I found the um only one from the Super Nintendo Diamond Planes 3. Let's see, DS. There's three DS ones. There's two three DS ones. There's a Game Boy one. Yeah, there's only one Game Boy one, Sherwood Land. Oh, never mind, I'm sorry, Desert 2. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Let's end off with the one and only Rainbow Road. Yep. Sorry, guys, not doing Rainbow Raceway. If I did four reasons, we can do like a Dynasty 4 Cup. That would be pretty interesting. But we can't do it because I selected three races. That's the fall of this game instead of two. <clears throat> oh, the lowest one. Not like, what first time race you can do. Now, unlike the original, there's been like a major difference between this course and the one in the Tennessee 4 version. <laughs> except, ex not including this. Bowser, you always got your opponents like that. No. Dang it. Bowser, do not get ahead of me. That's it. Bowser, going down. You missed. Ate my shell. My god. Oh, they're all for these chain chomps because these chain chomps could uh, do so, yeah, also do a lot of jumps. Here's guys the main difference it's one whole lap around the entire track for instead of three times around this entire track, so yeah. It's a lot shorter. Also, I need a lot of coins lately. Which is good for coinage, but it's not good for um, other stuff because I need defense. 
I mean, really, I need to defend myself from, like, incoming attacks, like, I'm talking about, like, red shells. There we go. Now, this will defend against an infamous blue shell, but uh, if I had, like, that super horn, then I could probably like, tear the blue shell. Yeah, the super horn deflects the blue shell. See, so, yeah, there's an item that actually fights the blue shell, and... God, they're so close to me. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. I win. Horn. Oh, you're too late to fire that shell. I won already. It doesn't matter. I won. I also got 10 coins. Probably more than 10 coins, but yeah. I was using Yoshi, but because Yoshi is awesome. Also, they use troops with granite course for like this stuff. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Let's see how much I have. Okay, still need a lot of coins left to go. Yeah. I need to get like a hundred coins now for each upgrade, and I don't want to get- I just really want to get like a lot of them before I move on with like Grand Prix and stuff. I mean, I only have like two more left to go for NCs for characters. Then there's like the last two for this one, then it's up to 150 CC. And then, I'm actually done. Well, for the Star ones, I still got Mirror Mode. They're still Mirror Mode, guys. They're still Mirror Mode. Also, one thing you know is that when you beat a Grand Prix with a certain character, well, each, each character, you get a sticker. <laughs> also, like, like Warhead says that. Also, I guess Horned. Let's hear this one more time before we, um, close out. I'm not sure going to play players for you. Um, I like to use... I don't really use heavyweights that much. I just want to show you off what happens if you, like, use a horn with Wario. Here goes. Here goes. That's not like a heart noise, you know? But they don't like heavyweights because that's their low acceleration. But they have high speed though. That makes up for their that for that. Oh what? What the heck? Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Besides, what the heck was that? There was banana right there! How did I even get attacked by that? There was no way that should have happened. I had a shield. Why the heck did... <sighs> There's one of the problems with heavyweights. The thing with heavyweights is they have like a big body and they can't dodge all attacks easily, so... That's why you want to use heavyweights. Try to stick with characters like Metal Mario and stuff because... Yeah, they're... They have like... Small bodies. He originally has big body, but yeah. As for Mel Mario and these two death, smart body, so that's that's good. All right, just to let you know, I'm Blue Wig, and I think this guy is also a mi not Wild Wiggy. Um, Iggy is a stuff. Don't worry about these two. I'll get them. I'll w unlock these guys. They'll be unlocked soon. Right now, we're